And coming up next here on ABC 7 News at 5 tonight, a local student launches an effort to get guns on campus. This controversial plan next on ABC 7 News at 5. Would guns in the classroom make students safer? A growing number of students say yes. And one George Mason student is now leading a movement that could result in kids packing heat on his campus. Chris Van Cleve is live on campus tonight with more on this story. Chris, is this for real? Absolutely, Leon and Allison. It is, in fact, we found a website that boasts nearly 4,000 student members nationwide as supporting this idea. And as we speak, there are universities in Colorado and Utah that are already allowing guns in the classroom. <laughs> Students at George Mason carry all kinds of things, bags, books, cell phones, but guns? Well, we just feel that after Virginia Tech especially, the campuses aren't as safe as we've been led to believe. Junior and former Marine Andrew Dysart is the president of the newly formed GMU Students for Concealed Carry, a student group of 20 to 30 so far, hoping to convince the university to change its policy prohibiting staff and students from being armed on campus. We have a right to protect ourselves off campus. We can carry anywhere else in the state, but on campus should be no different. It's it's a safety issue. We feel it's in the best interest, safety-wise, for employees and, and students not to be allowed to bring firearms on campus. But under state law, someone not affiliated with the school who has a concealed weapons permit may carry a firearm on university grounds. But guns are prohibited from all buildings. Yeah, I'm not too cool on that. Most students we talked to had opinions a lot, like freshman Erica Porter and her friend Jasmine Wilson. They don't want guns in the classroom. I don't think it'll make the school safer. I think it'll be worse. Honestly, I completely disagree with it. At least allow us the, the chance to, to be able to protect ourselves and others around us. The school says they are reviewing their security policies, looking at increasing the use of controlled access buildings and installing a cell phone text messaging system for students in the event of an emergency, but tell us they are not seriously looking at changing their gun policy. Live in Fairfax, Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News. Thanks, Chris, and that's all now for ABC 7 News at 5.